Hello everybody, Haxel the Hunter here, and today we are playing with Militides and Tier 5 Thorax Hoplites on Rubicon. And I will join you on the battlefield. Okay, so we're starting on the left side of Rubicon with our uh, Hoplites. We're going to try and take the tower and defend the river. We're not going to advance across the river with our uh, Hoplites, not yet anyway. It looks like it might just be myself and another player here defending the river, as you've got a ballista player who will be defending his own uh, artillery. So I'm going to take the tower, get some uh, view on the enemy positions for our artillery players, if there's more than one. Looks like a chap with the blisters might be the only one. Okay, we'll see. Hopefully the enemy haven't got superiority in that regard. So, take the watchtower. Obviously got to be quite wary of any enemy artillery hitting me there, because that's most uh, likely hits they're going to get on me. Right, so we already have people crossing the river with Hastati. I believe these Thoros Spearmen will be easily able to take them out. However, you've got some Triary crossing, so I'm going to head up to try and take them out immediately. So, I've got the Watchtower. We can see you've got uh, Thor coming across here with the Triari. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why this chap's retreating when we have the advantage at the moment stopping them. Just make sure we are able to actually charge in and do some damage. Right, very nice. To make sure we can hold... Ah, Miltidus has fallen already. It's not even been two minutes. Ah, it's very fast action on Rubicon every single time. Okay. I think we share some wine, get some morale up. Uh, I don't think the uh, range of share rations is going to help me at this point. Actually, make sure we have defense on. Yeah, I think the Triari are doing quite well, but hopefully I should be able to hold them off. And maybe this chap with his Thoros Spearman should be able to break through and help me out, maybe? We'll have to see what he does and how we fare in the battle. It does depend on what uh, commander that Thor has there. See if he's got any abilities like... Um, well, any good abilities that could take me out. I've just drawn a blank there. And unfortunately I've got some companion cavalry heading straight for me. Or maybe for our tier 6 friend up on top of the hill there. So keep, keep trying to uh, destroy the enemy. Oh no, it looks like I'm going to get a rear charge into my uh, general unit. Or maybe not. That's very strange of the enemy to do. Uh, definitely got more people coming. If we're trying to hold, hold as much as we can, try and break through. Well, Triari are really, really good. Breaking through my uh, thorax hoplites with ease. Potentially because uh, Miltiade is not the best in defence. He seems to favour more of offensive postures and also obviously drop shields can really help out if you want to get around the battlefield a lot quicker but yeah I don't, don't mind playing uh, Militides too much, it's a very quick battle so I'll be sure to add another battle into this uh, episode of Arena because I am fallen just about now Okay, so that's a very quick defeat on my side. I will join you in another battle soon. Hello again, so I have another battle in this episode for you as we got slightly wrecked in the last game. Um, definitely going to be... Well, I'm playing Alexander Tier 4 uh, Citizen Cavalry at the moment. So this is going to be kind of a lot of uh, manoeuvring and tactics for that. We're going to have to see what our team's doing as well. We've got the watchtower, but it seems we have a heavy artillery player there. It's gone three um, Lithobolos. You've got some warriors here, barbarians going into the forest. So this could potentially be quite bad for us. We'll have to see. I might be able to engage this one cavalry unit if that's all he has. 
cars. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can have that. I just don't want them to get any eyes on what we have at the moment. Keep moving, keep holding this watchtower. See what we can do. Hopefully our barbarian uh, chap up there is going to do quite well. Even though I could do with definitely scouting the uh, top of the hill there. Make sure we've not got any problems. Okay, so you've got another cavalry player that's uh, popping around here. So alright, got to make sure that we can uh, deal with him if he decides to come on. Oh, pikemen heading up. So I'm going to have to be quite careful of those chaps. Yep, it's first artillery hit there. It was going to happen. Ideally I want to reposition so I can still take the tower, but not have any problems with getting hit by artillery too much. Using the uh, tower here to protect myself and Alexander as well. So he should not be able to do too much against me. Alright, I'm going to try and uh, hit those chaps there. There's your one... Oh, okay, I'm going to go back. Ideally they could do with some support, but we don't really have any um, infantry players up here that are playing the top area. It's not doing too much damage against my uh, cavalry unit there. Obviously I'm going to have to move my general unit soon. It's going to be a very a game of cat and mouse with myself and these pikemen. Keep going, keep going. Alright, it's definitely going to go for them. Yeah, that's going to happen. Not much I can do about that apart from uh, deal with them. Go, 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 don't just go where I tell you to go. Oh, that was terrible. That was probably the worst cavalry charge on my part there. Fortunately, wasn't much I could do. Just had to take it. Right, I might. It might be wise for me to actually advance beyond now. I don't think I can be very helpful in defending with all these pikemen. Now, apparently, recovered. Alexander there is. Well. Apparently is is still alive, but uh, not very useful to us. There he is, good old Alexander. Oh, he retreats back to base and stays alive. Oh, well, I thought I was going to survive and give him the opportunity to use his abilities, but uh, never mind. I'm going to keep advancing, see if we can take down their artillery or anything that they have. Let's get some uh, points in there, because we might just be able to hold here, even though no, no, I think they're taking down the uh, artillery we have quite easily there. And our own pikemen aren't doing too well. And you've got the uh, warrior, barbarian player here that's, well, uh, it's three on one so you should be able to take them out, even with the disadvantage of being a light infantry unit. So I'm going to definitely have a, have a gander at where, where they are. I'm actually going to check what's on the watchtower too. If there's anything I can take out easily, I will do so. I need to do something. Okay, I've got some uh, Italian spearmen there. If I can get a good rear charge on them, if they don't see, that'd be good. I'll have to be very, very, very quick. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Alright, you've got some stakes there with some Italian noble infantry. So the last thing I want to do is uh, give them any free points. So yeah, we want to get in and try and cap the base. I think that's the best chance we have of winning this game at the moment. So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to go around, uh, scout out any weaknesses before we advance. Because obviously he's got, he's got those stakes there. But uh, if I get a rear charge on him, he's not paying attention. Nope, he is. Never mind. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Don't just stand there like an idiot. Right. Definitely going to try and make him chase one of my units. Come on, go, go, go. Surely we can get him if we uh, move this other unit out to help. 
Go on, we can do it. We can do it. Just need a good charge. Hammer. Ah, oh, missed half my unit there, but should still be able to flank. Hopefully. Get a good bonus on that. Right, come on. Break them. Should be able to. It looks like we're severely reducing his unit there. Got some enemy cav heading in. Javelin ears are still alive. I could do with our friends helping out quickly, if possible. Alright, I'm breaking them. Come on, kill him, kill him off, kill him off before they get here. Alright, go, go, go. Last thing I want to get is caught out by their uh, cavalry there. So I just slightly, slightly hit. Right. I know I managed to route one of my uh, cavalry units, that's no fun, is it? Alright, we've got a friend, friendly cav helping out here. So we should be able to stop them from uh, living, <laughs> pretty much. Alright, yeah, still got some heavy, heavy cav units coming out. Go, 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 get the hell out of here. Move. Now I've got rapid advance left. Right, definitely go back around to help out. Go on, let's get some, let's get a hammer on them. Nice. That's exactly what I want. Try and reduce them. Good, we broke, broke his cavalry unit there. Very nice. Um, if this guy comes and helps out, just come on, help out. All I need to do is come back to uh, support me there, but I should be able to survive long enough for this uh, KU chap and the other chaps to come in. But it appears to be they are in our base, but if we can break these chaps, we should be able to cap. It's going to be quite a tight game, this one. Just need to finish off these chaps before we can actually uh, capture the base. Come on, let's focus uh, our attention on that one cavalry unit. The rest are already broken. This cav unit can break the last citizen cav unit they have there. Come on, they're broken. Right. Break off. Hit these chaps. Get a good hammer on them. Right. So we're just finishing off the enemy units here in their base. Right, I don't wanna don't wanna follow them. Particularly. Right. Oh no, is is uh, why did you do that? <laughs> I mean I did it with like one or two horsemen, but I particularly chose not to go straight across. Oh dear. Well he's he's still alive, so that's that's good. Right, we just need to stop them from uh, decapping us now, if possible. Right, let's finish off any last unit they have here. The cavalry unit's still there, but uh, hopefully I can... Oh, uh, yeah, I'll probably take him out while we uh, finish off this last uh, Tally Noble Infantry. Because he's definitely going to be using his line of sight to see if uh, his friends can help out. Right, let's go, go, go. Good hammer on there. I should actually still be able to stay in cap as well, actually. Yeah, there's no chance he's surviving that. Breaking him down. Very nice. So we just need to continue the cap now. And we should have this game in the bag. Although they are in our base as well. Don't just need to finish off his last few uh, cavalry men in their base and hopefully we should be able to have enough capture power to take the base no problem although his last uh, unit there is holding on holding on for dear life have to see if we can finish him off I don't think he's going to have any power to decap us but it's just quite strange I'd say he's not been finished off yet really really strange anyway um, yeah the enemy might just break us in cap I'm not doing too bad this game same as I've been doing most of our work at the end of the match trying to avoid sacrificing our units okay so we have that we're still capping they've managed to decap the enemy base uh, our base should I say very nicely 
So yeah, I think we have just managed to pull this one out of the bag to get a victory on our marathon with uh, Alexander the Great and his citizen cavalry. Quite a nice uh, change to our uh, other battle in this video. We got wrecked within five minutes on uh, Rubicon. But anyway, we have that now. Very soon the battle will be over and a victory for Alexander the Great. GG, GG indeed. We'll get that quickly. There we go. Right, so I do thank you for watching. I hope you uh, like the video and comment and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.